Hey guys, welcome back to Star Fox Assault. We are headed to Fachina because Star Wolf pointed us in that direction in order to hunt down Pigma and get back that Aperoid core. We have arrived at Fachina. This is where we lost track of Pigma. Fachina, huh? Just great. There's nothing here but snow and ice. Uh-huh. But after they built the Climate Control Center, the planet became inhabitable. This is a crisis, team. From the look of things, the climate control generators, well, looks like it's been out of order for quite a while. If this blizzard keeps up, the planet will once again become barren. I wonder if this is Pigma's work. Could he be laying a trap? Oh, we can't fly our R-wings in this weather. We have no choice. I'll go down and get the generator back up. If I can just get to the climate control center, we'll be okay. Playing the hero again, huh, Foxy? Hey, more power to you, buddy. Me? I hate the cold. <laughs> it makes me hibernate! What? Since when the frogs hibernate? I'll make sure the others are ready to launch their R-wings at any time. What a weird joke. I guess it's just because animals. But here we are in Fachina, not Fortuna. Mission 1 was Fortuna, and remember that place was all tropical? Fachina is a frozen cold place. It was mistranslated in Star Fox 64, and you actually played on the snowy Fachina, even though it's called Fortuna in that game. Rob, scan the control center. Affirmative. The climate control center is protected by a shield. Hmm. All right. So to get in, we have to turn that shield off first. Ever the wise one, Pappy. Yeah, I guess you're right. No time for subtlety. I'm gonna have to blow up the generators. Don't go overboard, Fox. It's under control. What? Then get going lines. and do it. We're just spinning our Yeah, enough here. with the corny lines, man. Careful what you wish for, Falco. Or say one more. <laughs> Anyway, let's do it. Into the storm, Fachina. GameCube particle effects here. Nice blizzard stuff. All right. Three red dots on the radar. But this blizzard is something else. I can't see anything. It's like Slippy in Star Fox 64. Something's wrong. I don't see anything. All right, let's get this combo chain going. Oh, look, we got another big Bertha over here. I'm coming for yous. I'll lure these guys to the front and get a hit plus five. Whoa, dodge that. Yeah, I hear you, Peppy. I know about the radar. The radar is nice and crisp. I can actually see this on my TV, unlike Star Fox 64 anymore these days. Actually, they kind of can. Oh, I guess this is... Yeah, I got you. We've only been told the same thing. Just shoot this thing a whole bunch. Two more to go. My tank apparently can't run over a tree. That doesn't make sense, but we're rolling with it. Literally. Move it, Fox. Getting these little boosts. Yeah. I bet she can't see much, so study your radar closely. Thanks, Slip. There are lots of enemy swarms, so watch your step. The master of radar himself. I bet you Slippy designed the radar for the team. You gotta take it with a grain of salt. We never see it happen, but he's the mechanical genius. Yeah! Hit plus five bonus. We gotta get more points. What's down here? Oh, look at this. Is I bet you there's a flag in here. We can launch an attack at any time. Yeah, me too. Just get rid of that blizzard, will you? All right, I'm working on it. I know your visibility is poor, but aim for the tower. That didn't make it any nicer, Crystal. Everybody's complaining to hurry up. She just added it with a little nice coating, but basically was still selfish. There we go, one more. I want this machine gun because there is an on foot moment. Coming up, but I'm just racking up points, going for all the yellow dots because you gotta get hit points in order to get the medal. Um, I'm playing on bronze, as you know. And I don't think I've mentioned that uh, you cannot get a better medal than what you're playing on. So even if I got enough hit points to get the gold medal requirement, because I'm on bronze, it wouldn't award it to me. You gotta actually play on gold to get gold and whatever. Oh, that was a weird flicker. the heck is going on in here? There's chaos everywhere, but I got hit plus 25 bonus. That's what I like to see. This is how you get the medals. You gotta destroy everything with a combo chain. 
All right, uh, red dot, I'm coming. This is a mess. That's, that's the thing I started to say last episode and didn't finish. Come on, tank, you can get up there. Before I went on talking about, uh, multiplayer and how I used to play with two controllers by myself sometimes if I was really bored and I couldn't hang out with friends for whatever reason. Um, I Before that thing, I started to say that almost every single time I play this game, I roam around lost a lot. There we go. The climate control center shield has been... Ooh, extra life. Alright, let's get there. I'm going, destroying these turrets on the way, too. But yeah, this is a great example. This is just kind of like a small, wide-open area, so it's not too bad, but... See anything that looks like an entrance near there? Uh, I think it's by the health. That's your indicator. Why is this guy back? But yeah, Katina is usually my first instance of getting lost. This place can be confusing. But let's do it. Gatling gun! Yeah, where did I get this? I don't even know when I picked it up. I thought it was a machine gun. Anyway. This should be it. Control settings confirmed. Beginning adjustment. Woohoo! That's the end of the blizzard! You did it, Fox. Fox? What's wrong, Fox? Come in! Quit yelling, Falco. I'm fine. Just a little hitch in the plan. But there must have been an ID problem. The sentry bots have taken a liking to me. That must have been pigless work. Uh, I'm on my way. Hold on! Yeah. Could you hurry? Yeah, see, this is another cool thing that this game does. I'm glad I have this Gatling gun, though. Uh, ah, locked in, am I? Where is everybody? I see them. Okay. So these guys, you gotta... They come close to you, then they back up, and then they pull out their wings, and that's the only time they're vulnerable. Why in the world would those sentry bots attack? Hey, when am I gonna get to that control center? Um, but yeah, they actually make the co-pilots useful. Like, this is a huge role for Falco. Don't start whining, I'm almost there. Fox, your survival is priority number one. Granted, it is a cutscene, so it's not like... In-game, Falco is super useful. Where are you, Falco? Don't even think about dying before I get there. Oh, look at all these guys. I need these hits. Everybody attack me! Crap, I was too early. Aw, oh, nuts! You're not doing too well, are you, Falco? <laughs> Apparently I'm not. Gotcha. All right. Is that it? No, don't come here yet. I'm destroying these guys. Come on. Oh, I got him! Did you see that huge explosion? But this is such a cool cutscene. I remember I loved this. First time I saw it. This, Falco. Wow, that was a flashy entrance. Quit complaining and climb aboard, will you? All right. Hey, just do me a favor and try not to fall off. Hey, just worry about not getting shot down, okay? Not a problem. Hey, sure shot. Get out your blaster and take care of our admirers, will you? Yeah, so cool. Some of that ace pilot stuff finally showing. Just ram it into the ground. This is so cool too. When I first saw this, I was thrilled as a kid. Looks like the scum are making house calls, Fox. Fox, use the plasma cannon. Yeah, let's rack up the hits. This plasma cannon is awesome. Infinite ammo, super fast, and just this whole concept of. Riding on Falco's wing is just the coolest thing ever. You could even pull this off in multiplayer, except it's not. Like, notice how I can move and Fox's feet stay planted. In multiplayer, you have control of your character at all times. I got you. Don't make me shoot you, Falco. Just kidding. I might do. Yeah, come on, slip. Oh, you guys are just going to be running in circles. But yeah, you can pull this off in multiplayer, like I was saying, but you got to be super careful because it's very easy to slip off of the wing in multiplayer, unlike here. Hey, well, get out of the way. <laughs> yeah, look at these guys. Hit plus 25. 
This is so awesome. Yeah. Someone on the ground's locked on. I know, you keep on saying the same thing. But seeing this now and replaying it. Whoa, get off me! Where are you? Do I need to help you, Slippy? Oh yeah, you got three. You always have three behind you. Get the enemy behind me! I think I just did. Well, that was kind of a thrill. This is no joke, Slippy. Come on, Slip. Yeah, 90 hit plus 30. Yeah, you get a ton of hits in this game compared to the old ones. I mean, I guess this is old now. No, it's not. Time hasn't passed. It's still 2005. I don't know what calendar you're using. Just kidding. Except time is arbitrary anyway, right? But what was I saying? I was saying something and then I lost it. Yeah! Man, this is, I would play a whole game like this. Someone on the ground's got a beat on me. Well, let's beat them. See, I could say corny lines too. I'm made for Star Fox, man. Hey, Falco. Never mind. Yo, Fox. <laughs> I'll do better next time. What? Are you okay, Slippy? I like the uh, Borealis. Hey, where are you going? I saw you. This is so cool. See, on rail shooters are not dead. I've been followed. What's in here? I. I see the orange dot. Where is it? Is it on top? Whoa, get out of here. Uh, yeah, it's on top. Okay, grab that thing. Those guys shoot missiles, and they are actually super dangerous. This is a cool mission. That's what I was about to say. <laughs> it's just, I can't resist shooting Falco. This is awesome. Yeah, keep shooting missiles at me. What I was about to say is I was kind of hesitant, and I was trying to re-watch videos of this game and get into it so I could let's play it, because it's been in the back of my mind for, like, years now. And, uh... Every time I watch the videos, there'd be like a cringy line of dialogue, and I just feel like, yeah, maybe it's not that fun of a game. But now that I'm replaying it, Unstoppable. Way to go. I'm having a lot of fun. I finished the R-wing transfer preparations. Okay, I'm heading in your direction. Nice. All right, final phase. Fox, those bots seem suspicious, so I checked them out, and they were aperoids. Are you sure? Yeah. Aperoids must be able to take over other machines. Are you serious? Yeah, it's true. And the one who's pulling the strings is me, Pigma. <laughs> Pigma. Up the ladder, big fella. What the? That's part of the engineering, isn't it? It's been infected by the aperoids. You dirty swan. <laughs> I wouldn't bother with me right now. <laughs> danger, danger, climate control center generator approaching critical overload. Deal with Pigma later. Without the climate control center, we'll never stop the blizzards again. Got it. <laughs> Alright, let's do it. Get the R-Wing. Seven minutes. That's like a lot of time for this. destroy the targets, this planet is true. You've got to destroy them and stop the explosion. There's no way we're letting that explode. Alright. We gotta get some bombs and launch them inside of it. That is how you beat this boss if I remember correctly. Watch the hatch open. That's your chance. I need oh some God, bombs. Guys. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's right. These guys drop it. Makes sense. All right, I got a bomb. Launch it in there. Boom! Look at how much damage that did. Wow. One more shot. Move it, Fox. Once again, I think these take more hits on the harder difficulties. Oh, how did that miss? That would have been it. That would have been the end of the mission. Somehow it missed. Kind of struggling here, aren't I? But uh, see what this game does well. You've got to utilize your brakes. Yeah, I guess that is what I gotta do. Oh, here we go. Oh, I whiffed again. No, somehow that it went down very slowly at the end there. There we go. That's it. That's the end.
But this game uses phases, and every Star Fox game after this seemed to have mimicked that. And what I'm waiting for is a simultaneous is thing. The climate control center generator is undamaged. Looks like all the aparoids are gone too. Nicely done, Fox. Still, getting attacked by your allies? Man, that's just crazy. Machines are machines, after all. Those without strong wills can be easily turned to evil. Those without strong wills. Allies or enemies. <laughs> What is it, Fox? Nothing. That sounds like someone I know, that's all. Eh, it's kinda corny. Look at that shot. Wow, that's like a thumbnail for you. Obey us, obey us, obey us, obey. Oh, oh, was, I, was I just talking to my sleep? No! I won't turn a profit by obeying them! I, I, I obey. All right, that should be the end. But we're on, hot on pursuit of Pigma. Let's go to the next mission as well. 11 minutes, wow. All ships home safely. The climate control center still working. Nice job. All right, I guess that's it. Let us save and keep on going. Because the next stage is where we finally confront Pigma and he stops running away. Great music time, too. Pigman's trail leads to this area. Ha, huh, you think you found a safe place to run to? You think we're gonna give up and go away? Don't mess with us, Pigma. So, is this like an amusement park to a former gang member? You know it. All right. This time, we'll get that core memory from Pigma. Yeah. That's right, though. Uh, Falco was in a gang. If I forget what game it says that. I think it's Star Fox 64. Like, if you look at his bio, he was once part of a space gang or something. I don't know. There's a lot in the Star Fox universe. Yes. Orchestrated Meteo music. And there's the Wolfen just kind of chilling there. Hey, was that? It couldn't be, could it? Is that the Wolfen? So is Wolf and his team that got destroyed? I'm sensing faint brain patterns. The abandoned ship. Keep your guards up, team. Uh, let's grab these lasers. Get ready for an awesome on-rails level. Watch out! Something's out there! Not quite as awesome as Star Fox 64, but it's still pretty cool. There are some really cool moments. Say Falco. These goons don't give up. Thanks for the help, Fox. There's lots of good groupings of enemies that happen at some point in this stage. But the overall stages on these on rails missions, I think Star Fox 64 still does it better than any Star Fox game. Zero has some great moments though too. Yeah, thanks for giving me the bomb. I can greatly use that. Get out of here, whatever the heck you are. Hit plus seven. Yeah, here we go. Here's the groupings I was talking about. I think there's a way to get a B bonus off of them, too, if I use a charge shot instead. But I will just take the G bonus, which is short for group bonus, obviously. Get ready to barrel roll. There's going to be more than just these guys coming from behind. Oh, is there any way? No. I wonder if there's a way you can get those together all in one group shot. Oh, get that special flag! I didn't even know that was how you triggered one. Like I said, I don't remember where all five of them are in each level. Look at that background, man! Some good GameCube stuff going on. Why are these things chasing Darwin? I'm wondering that myself, Slippy! You've got to try rolling! <laughs> the solution to everything. Do a barrel roll! Oh, look at these. Right, another special flag. Not that I'm even collecting them or caring at all, because I'm pretty sure it's all multiplayer unlockables. And potentially the bonus game. Crystal, where are you? There we go. Ah, oh, I tried to get that last thing. Yeah, there's a lot of corniness between Fox and Crystal here. But it's kind of more geared towards kids, right? They knew Star Fox, a lot of kids are playing it. 
You're gonna get hit. Use your brakes. I'm using them, and it's kind of a cool animation. I don't think I've mentioned that yet. This is for helping me. Thank you. Get ready on the left. Here they come. I love this song so What's much. Here? Looks like a base under construction. They were building another base, eh? Just like I missed the trick. Looks like Pigmo is planning ahead. All right, let's get those hyper lasers on the right. Man, I gotta get better at the lock-on shots. I don't know what it is about this game. Oh, oh bomb, bomb, save Falco. Sorry about that. They just showed you such bad flight. I didn't have confidence in my charge shot or regular shooting ability, so I relied on the bomb there to save Falco, because he will die if you don't save him there. What is this? Is that the prototype we saw earlier? Look closely. It's been infected by the Aperoids. Look closer. He's dead. Yeah, sorry about that flicker. It's the AV to HDMI little box that I have. It's not so great. There's a special flag here on the left. I think this long, silent stretch is expecting you to still be fighting that uh, prototype thing. Okay, we can get in over there. All right, get ready. Here they come. Get ready for the flag too. There it is. Ah, oh, save Slippy. Slippy will die here. Yes. But see, there is definitely a way to make the Star Fox game. This is pretty cool. I like this section. But the Star Fox game that I'm thinking of. I'm picking up a large enemy presence dead ahead. That's what I'm hoping for. I don't know, like, see, this is good because it's all geared towards you being in this viewpoint at all times. But I'm waiting for that simultaneous fluid thing where I could just switch between pilots and like maybe see the same shot. But from Slippy's point of view, and just kind of s switch on a dime like that, I think it's totally possible. And you could also design the game Fox, proceed with caution. to make full use of that. Like these stages right now are not set up for that. There's not enough enemies. There's not enough anything. Hold really. it, Fox. Look. Pigma ship. Fox. Pigma. <laughs> Jeez, kind of reminds me of the Area Six thing. Looks like Pigma's already gone. Who or what are you? We will answer. We are the ultimate existence. You cannot resist us. You will join us. We're not buying that garbage. He can hear us, but he's not listening. Fox, the core memory that Pigma stole must be inside that thing. Okay, everyone. Attack! All right, yes. Is a lot like the Area 6 boss of Star Fox 64. Hey, show. Don't you listen? Sorry for the crazy sound effects. It's kind of loud, but there we go. When the arms open up, that's its weak point for now. But see, this is another thing I'm waiting for in Star Fox. This is fine. This big boss setup is perfectly fine. However, you can make these fights a lot longer and a lot more challenging. And utilize the mechanic I keep on talking about. Like maybe at this point, there's a very tight time window to get to the backside and shoot him. Which requires you to switch to like Falco and hit that weak point. But anyway, just pummel his face. And that's it. Yeah. One day, man, I have faith that there will be that Star Fox, my dream Star Fox game, basically. Until then, we have to just keep replaying these ones, and that's cool. The R-Wing design is pretty neat in this game, too. I like it. That looks like Sector Y in the background. Did you see that? That was definitely a Y. But there we go. That's two missions already. Gotta hang it up. 
But I'm just getting started. All ships are home. I'm glad you're all in one piece. I'd hate to end up like Pigmon. All right, well, thanks for watching, you guys. Next time, we will go on to mission six. See you then. Take care.